So what is the difference between a USB mixer and a USB audio interface? Well, in this video, we're gonna take a look at what the key differences are and help you decide which one you should consider for your home studio setup. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. This is Studio Live today where I help you create, record and release your best music. And if you are recording music, you will need some sort of device that you can plug in your guitars, your microphones, all of your audio devices to actually record those sounds and then connect that to your digital audio workstation on your Mac, your PC, your iPhone or your iPad. So in this video, we're going to take a look at the two main devices that you'll be considering here, which is your audio interface and your mixer. Let's take a look now. Now we're gonna go through this fairly quickly, but I do have a heap of links down in the description to complete reviews and a lot more information about USB audio interfaces and mixers, and also a bunch of links to where you can actually purchase some of the devices that I talk about here. And those are affiliate links, so you'll be supporting the channel as well as getting some cool new gear. So we'll start with the simpler of the two devices, which is our USB audio interface. So what an audio interface does is it takes a signal, an analog signal, so a microphone or a line level signal from a guitar or an instrument, and then it outputs it via USB. So you can plug this into your Mac, your PC, your iPad, your iPhone, and then you plug your analog sources in here. It does the analog to digital conversion, and then you record that sound on your DAW in your Mac PC or your device. So this is a really simple interface and a really Really simple device for getting started. So if you're new to home studio and new to recording, I'm always going to recommend you to pick up an audio interface. This is the Steinberg UR12, which has two channels. So it's got a microphone preamp here, a very nice microphone preamp, and it's got an input here for a quarter inch, uh, a high Z, high Z jack there. You've got your separate knobs here to dial in your gain, and then your output gain, and that is it. So your audio interfaces are a very simple device, and the, the point of these is to just get a really really nice clean signal into your DAW, your digital audio workstation. So you then do your manipulation afterwards. If you need to add EQ or any sort of compression or any sort of effects, you're doing that all when you've actually recorded your sounds in. Now, as I mentioned, this is a two channel. So it's actually got two different inputs here, which means you can record two tracks simultaneously using this device. If you use something like this one back here, which is the Steinberg UR44, which has four channels, then you're actually gonna get four channels of audio to manipulate at the other end. So if you record in your digital audio workstation, you're gonna be able to separate them out onto four channels. So if you've got like two microphones and two guitars, you can record all four of those at the same time or a drum kit, you can mic up with four different microphones and record them. And then you can actually manipulate those independently. And that's the key thing to remember for when we start talking about a mixer. An interface, if you have however many inputs you have, usually the same number of channels can actually be recorded. So if you've got eight inputs, then you can have eight channels. If you've got 12 inputs, you can have 12 channels. So you've got a big drum kit, buy a 12 channel audio interface, they're reasonably expensive, but then you can actually record your whole drum kit at once with a whole bunch of different microphones and then mix them all independently afterwards, which is different to our mixer and how that works, which we will dive into right now. Okay, let's talk mixers. This is my Samson Mix Pad, which is an analog mixer, but it does also connect via USB. Now, the key difference, if we're going to cut to the chase here, is that all mixers, or almost all mixers, especially at the sort of consumer level, only output stereo audio. So even if you do hook this up via USB, you're not going to be able to independently control. Well, this is actually 12 inputs. So it's got 12 separate inputs on here. It's only going to be stereo. So I could hook up an iPad to one, an iPhone to another, two microphones here, two guitars here. It's still only going to export or output that one stereo file. So why would you have a mixer over an audio interface given that you can still only actually record one or two, like the two channels just like you can with this Steinberg on this one, especially considering that the prices are about on par. A good quality two input interface is about the same. This is probably a little bit more expensive because it has a few more features. And what are those features? Let's talk about that now. So you'll notice here that yes, we've got a whole lot more that we can do here. So the key difference is that we can adjust our EQ. So we can actually adjust the EQ of what we're recording. We can pan, we can and we've actually got a compressor on here and we've even got some digital effects on this particular unit that we can use to actually record our sounds. So why would you get a mixer over an interface? Well, primarily if you're doing live music or live performances, 
So I use mixers for my PA announcing that I do at the ice hockey. I use a mixer for that. And then I bought this one particularly because I want to start doing live acoustic sets so I could actually hook up my guitar, my microphone, uh, even you know an iPad or an iPhone if I wanted to have some accompaniment and then actually mix that all down to one stereo track that I can then send out to a PA. I can even then connect it via USB and record a stereo signal of my performance at the same time. So they're the key reasons. Also great for streaming. So if you're into your Facebook Live, YouTube Live, Twitch, any sort of live streaming, or even podcasting, although podcasting you might want to be able to separate out your audio, but definitely anything streaming, then having something like this is great because you can plug everything in, get all your levels dialed in, get them sounding good, and then when you're streaming live, you can do all that on the fly. You don't have quite enough volume on your vocal, pump up your compressor a little bit. You're sounding too twangy on your guitar, drop down the EQ on the top end. So that's why you would go with something like this over this. So if you're getting into recording, definitely recommend an audio interface like the Steinberg UR12. If you plan to record but also would like to do a lot more live work or streaming, something like a mixer would be a better option for you because you're going to get a whole bunch more flexibility out of it. But again, that key difference is that you're not going to get all of that control over all the different channels. You're only going to get stereo with a mixer. If you've got an audio interface, you're generally going to get however many channels that you have inputs for. So there you go, I hope this helped explain the key differences between a USB mixer and a USB audio interface. And as I mentioned, there's some links to other videos where I go into more detail about the Samsung MixPad, the Steinberg UI12, and a whole bunch of other related videos as well down below, as well as links to where you can actually pick up these devices if you're looking to add a new interface or mixer to your home studio setup. Thanks again for watching. Why don't you let us know what devices you're using if you're already recording in the home studio. I'd love to hear what you are using and what you're recommending. Are you on a mixer or an audio interface? Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Hey, thanks for sticking around. There's two more videos linked down below. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking on the Studio Live Today icon in the top right corner or head on over to studiolivetoday.com for more audio goodness.